the vlog without recording it. So, if you're hearing this, this is the second little vlog of the same topic that I just talked to myself about. So this should be fun. But, <coughs> anyway, <coughs> I'm extra nasally, coughing left and right. Tuesday, I mowed like this farm that we have at work. We have a big farm. It's like, I don't know, a lot of acres. And uh, the grass was like three, three, four feet, probably four feet high. So I had to uh, mow that all down. And of course, I didn't wear a mask when I'm sitting there mowing for two weeks. I mean, for two days without a mask, just sucking in all this pollen. So now I feel like I have like, an, like a, a fistful of pollen in the back of my face. So I'm like, nasally as anything. I can barely breathe out of my nose as it is. And you add this, and I definitely can't breathe out of my nose. I can't talk. I talk, I sound funny. Or my voice cracks a lot. It's not a, it's not a fun experience. So, with that being said, I'm out riding at least, so that's a good thing. But I went to the store because one of my bosses told me that there's this thing called a Neti Pop, N-E-T-I-P-O-T, -E and it's like Aladdin's genie. Type of cup or whatever you want to call it, and uh, it, it, you, you put it into your nose, you fill it with water, you fill it with saline, you put it into your nose, tilt your head, and you pour the water through your nose, and it comes out your other nostril. And it's supposed to just clear your whole system out. Well, in theory, that sounds really nice. The only thing that sucks is that when you actually buy it, it doesn't just go through your nostril and out the other one. It goes through your nostril, into your mouth. You're like gagging on the stuff because it's like salty type flavors. It, it, it clears you up, I will say that. The amount of mucus and slime and grossness that, come, that came out of my nose was amazing, but it was definitely no fun to be taking in all that damn saline solution. We were also supposed to start it with one pack of saline mixture. I of course used two because I want to get rid of the snot build up in my face. And I think that was a little bit way too much. So, now my whole face is like flipping it out. And, uh, my nose is actually relatively clear. As, as you just heard with the squeaky ass voice. My, voice, my nose is actually pretty clear. But my throat is on fire. And and my uh my my face still feels like it's filled with a fistful of uh pollen, so I don't know if you would say it worked or not, because it definitely did clear my nose. But now I have an itchy voice and an itchy throat. And a, uh, a face full of pollen still. Also, I'd like to make a sweatshirt. 
that doesn't choke you when you're wearing it while riding. Every sweatshirt I ever wear just chokes the crap out of me. After like five minutes of riding, I'll adjust it, put it back the way it should be, and then five seconds later, it's back to choking my neck. Do you guys have any tips on how to avoid that? Guess what, guys? I'm gonna be bringing to market a hoodie that doesn't choke you. I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't know what it's gonna work off of. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be world famous, and everyone's gonna love me. So get ready for the future, guys. Cause it's coming. What happened here? picked up that dead bird, brought it up to the top of the telephone pole, and then dropped it. What a smart bird. But, I thought I would take the time out of my day to let you guys know about the neti pot. And that if you're ever extremely congested, some sort of fix for your stuff nose or something like that. Try to stay away from the neti pot. It's definitely not one of the better experiences that I've ever had. And I don't want you guys to have the same experience that I had. But that's going to be it guys. NJ Bike Life. Signing out. See ya. I should make an outro to my videos. Like, I don't know what I would make, but some sort of cool outro. 